Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Rebel Assault on the Panasonic 3DO. It was released in 1993, also released um, on DOS CD, Mega CD, and the Macintosh. It is uh, published by LucasArts, and it is the first ever CD-ROM game. Now, I've got the music turned off because it's Star Wars and obviously copyright and stuff like that. It's very interesting, and while it looks incredibly crude for you know today's standards, it was state-of-the-art at the time. Can I skip this? Apparently not. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, because it's FMV uh, with sort of very crude sort of um, models over the top. But, I mean, I never played on the 3DO back in the day or the PC. I do remember playing it on my brother's Mega CD and being absolutely blown away. Whether this version is any better than that, I don't know. Why am I hammering? I can just constantly fire by holding it down. You play Rookie 1 and there's 15 levels. Some of it is, you know, based on the movie uh, and some of it isn't. Uh, based on episode 4, that is. Also, there are, you know, cutscenes lifted from the movie and also new cutscenes for the game. Some are kind of FMV-ish and some are basically kind of very crude um, animated scenes. So, I mean, it's a grinder. As I said though, if you, you know, the leaps uh, this made back in the day means you can kind of ignore it for how it, you know, plays today because think about it. How far have we come? But unlike sort of Dragon Slayer and games like that, even though you can argue that lots of it is on rails, uh, it does feel, look at that, that's cool. It does feel, oh, that was really cool. Like you're actually, you know, playing a game as opposed to doing a bunch of quick time events. Right, I'm gonna die. Some of it, balls are horrifically hard, mind. Oh, there's a Death Star. Is that good? <sighs> yeah, like this. And then when you do the top down level of flying over the Death Star, that's just ridiculously hard. I mean, there's at levels of attacks, there's, uh, you know, stuff on Tatooine when you're, um, you're flying down the canyon and stuff like that. It's just, it's just, you know, old school fun. There you go. <laughs> Try and sneak up on me, will you? Oh, shit. Considering I'm doing all the work, I tell you what, the rest of the fucking Rogue Leader, Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron actually bothered to, uh, oh, shit, you know, lend a hand, then we would absolutely destroy this beast. Right, I'm using passcodes, by the way, which means I can experience and show you, you know, a lot more of the levels than you would normally get to see because of how balls are really hard it is. Right, there we go, there we go. Yeah, how many fucking V ties do I have to shoot? Wow. Okay, that's Jedi for fuck. Oh, bollocks. Right, so this is chapter 13. Now, this is the Death Star surface run. Now, obviously, that's new footage uh, shot there, new models, I should say, being used. Um, now, this is a bit of a weird experience because, it's, as I said, it's really, really top down, uh, really, really cramped, and basically, you really don't do much apart from try and shoot these green things. I'm assuming if I hit the towers, does that mean I, I lose energy? I'm guessing that's my energy bottom left. Wow, balls are horrifically hard. Oh no, there's people shooting me, that's right. You never know from how grainy it is. But as I said, you know, throw it a bone and think about how old it is. And, you know, as I said, what leaps it had made at the time. Being the first ever CD-ROM game. And the first only ever game by LucasArts, I believe, that was only available on CD-ROM. Oh, bollocks. This is actually... let me skip that. The, uh, the trench run. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Obviously, this is properly just on rails. And I am really struggling to see the ties because of how grainy it is. But, you know, thinking about, you know, what, you know, games we had for Star Wars at the time, this is probably as close as you could have got, you know, other than Atari um, Star Wars Arcade to feeling like you're going down the trench, you know, in an act win. Shit, 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 shit. God, it doesn't fucking mess around. I'm assuming, I'm assuming well, I ain't gonna get to the end, so you aren't gonna see it. And bollocks, come on. Pilots would be my lives, I guess. Oh. Oh. 
Wow, like I said, how far we've come, eh? Oh, bollocks. I don't just, it just felt like I'm just waiting, it's, I'm sat here waiting to be shot. Oh, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Again, you know, some support would be nice, people. Oh, look, you can hear it flashing, meaning you're about to die, rookie one. Well, in my defense, I do have rookie as a first name. Oh, right, bollocks. All right, 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 right. Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. Why am I still alive? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? I don't even know what that is. Something happened. Oh, shit, yeah, I died. Right. Oh, sweet. Snow speed tastic. Oh. Now, this doesn't feel quite as on rails. That's feel really claustrophobic. It is on rails, obviously, still. But if you make it through this, which I sincerely doubt I will, at least you get to see some walkers. Oh, bollocks. I'm kind of curious as to how it registers the damage for, like, me twatting the walls and shit. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's not inverted. I really should have put it on invert, shouldn't I? Oh, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Now, you, you all remember this bit from the movie, no doubt. The bit where you first flew a snowspeeder through tunnels. I mean, it's pretty much sewer shark, isn't it? Oh. Well, actually, no, it's not, because this predates that. Right. Oh, shit. About to die. Can I pick a... Yes, I can. Oh, I can? That wasn't fair. It just decided to twat me into the wall. Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing now. Obviously, I'm not actually in control as such. Ooh, ooh. And my red flashing light indicating that I'm about to fucking die is, well, flashing red. Ooh, it didn't like that, did it? Oh, shit. A distance gauge would be kind of nice or useful, I should say. Am I still alive? Ooh. Bollocks. Stick cuts in. Right. This is one of the on foot levels. Now, this is obviously really, really crude, but again, mind blowing back in the day as a kid. Crosshair could do have been a little bit faster. Oh my god, you missed me. Did the triggers do anything? I guess it pays to stay perfectly in the middle. Oh, it locks. Got a weird snap on. Obviously, there is a Rebel Assault 2, isn't there? That was on the PlayStation, wasn't it? I remember that one's a little bit more like you felt like you were in control. I mean, I first played that on the PC, I think, and then on the PlayStation. All right, sweet. That's kind of cool, actually. That Stormtrooper looks like a teddy bear. Right, I don't even know. Oh, I'm picking a direction. And I skip loads of that cutscene, we've pretty much gone full circle into exactly the same position as I was before. Whether I've actually progressed, you know, from a level perspective, I don't know. But anyway, Rebel Assault on uh, 3DO by LucasArts in 1993. Yeah, again, as I said, crude by today's standards, but, you know, pretty groundbreaking at the time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.